James, what are you doing about mama's surgery? We must carry out the operation by next week. You need to book for the operation this week because there is always a long line of people waiting to undergo surgery. If mama's booking gets delayed, it might be too late. If you won't help, God will. I'm trying my best, sir. I will get the money very soon and book her. But how is she doing now? Will she wake up from this unconsciousness at all? This is not certain, but there is nothing God cannot do. Just try harder and let's get her surgery done in time. I am more worried about the specialist doctor. He is always on high demand. So, we need to know mama and hopefully she could be placed on the emergency list. He wouldn't be fully booked by the grace of God. But doctor, can't you just get mama on his list of patients to operate on first? Then pay when it's time. No, James. Things doesn't work that way. There are strict protocols that must be followed. I'm sorry, but that's the only way. Okay, thank you very much, doctor. We need to know something else. After the surgery, will mama be completely fine? I hope all the tumors will be removed and will not grow back ever again. We can only hope that the cancer cell dies completely. In some cases, after a period of year or two, it resurfaces. And if that happens, the patient can only hope for a miracle. But we are hoping that wouldn't be the case for Mama. This is a very terrible sickness and a very, very expensive one at that. Oh Lord, please come to our rescue. Are you james i am not fine at all see how lean you are looking have you been eating at all cindy food is not my problem right now how to raise my mom's surgery and hospital bills is all i have got in my mind i know you are worried about your mother but worrying and starvation wouldn't solve the problem on ground my mother can't be in the hospital battling for her life while i sit at home whine and dine and get fat Starving yourself will lead to malnutrition and to you falling ill. If you fall ill, who is going to take care of mama? I can't fall ill. I am here for you. Tell me exactly how much this bill is that is driving you crazy. Let's work it out together. Really? Would you give me 70 million naira? 70 million naira? No, I don't have such amount of money. Who do you need so much money for? Mama's surgery, of course. Are you flying her abroad? That's a lot of money. I know you can't help. Just let it be. But are you flying her abroad for the surgery? No. It will be done here. The doctor has told me to get the money as soon as possible and book for my mass operation because the specialist doctor is always on high demand and will be flying in from abroad. So you see, my mother doesn't have that much time. Whatever it is that I have to do, I need to do fast within the week or the next. Wow, this is serious. Now you see. You can't help me. If I've decided to keep it to myself and tell you not to worry, you won't understand and get angry instead. Well, I never said I can't help. I don't have the money, but I know someone who does. You do? Yes, my dad. Come on, Cindy. You and I know your father won't help me. I know my father. He would help knowing the situation is critical. Don't worry, Mama's surgery will get done sooner than you think. Really? Yes, really. My love, thank you so much for even wanting to try. What would I do without you? I love you so much. I love you too. I know how special your mother is to you. I can't sit back and do nothing while she struggles for her life. You are just so sweet. Thank you, my angel. You are welcome. So what would you like to eat? So I can go get it for you before I go home. It's getting late. What is the problem? You haven't been cheerful since you got back home. What is upsetting you? It's regarding James, mom. Regarding James? What is the problem? Did you two fight again? No, mom. We didn't. Then what is it? His mother has cancer and she needs surgery. Oh, no! That's so unfortunate. How is James taking the bad news? Not good at all. He barely eats. He's looking like a shadow of himself. Hmm, poor boy. 
So when is the surgery? I don't know, mom. James doesn't even have the money. How much was he asked to pay? 70 million naira, mom. 70 what? That's a huge sum of money. I know. So what is he planning to do? Where will he get such amount of money from? Mom, please help us. As much as I would love to help, I don't have that kind of money locked away anywhere. Yes, mom. I know you don't have it. So how do you expect me to help you? No, I don't have it. Your dad is the wealthy one, not me. That's where I need your help, mom. Please help plead with dad to help James' mother. What? Please, mom. I'm sorry, Cindy. That wouldn't be possible. Please and please, mom. I'm sorry, I can't. Your dad already told you he doesn't want you hanging around James. You want me to get him more pissed off by asking him such amount of money for that same James? Mom, please. Dad is our only hope. You would have to approach him yourself then. He might not listen to me, but he would definitely listen to you. You should be cautious though. I don't mention James too much else. Just get it. Do you think you'll listen to me? I don't, but trying won't hurt. Okay. Thanks, Mom. But I still need your support in persuading him. All right, dear. I will try my best. Welcome, Dad. Thanks, dear. How did your day go? It went well. I can't complain. Dad. Yes. What is it, dear? Please, I want to ask you for a big favor. Please don't say no. It depends on what you are asking me for. And if it's within my capacity. Don't worry, Dad. It is well within your capacity. Okay, if you say so. So what do you need? Please, Dad. Jim's mother has brain cancer. And she needs surgery immediately to save her life. Do I look like a doctor or a brain surgeon? Last I checked, I am just an ordinary businessman. Dad, she needs 70 million naira for the surgery. And James doesn't have it. He has spent all of his savings on the hospital bills. I still don't see where I come in. I know you can help, Dad. What if I don't want to help? Please, save his mother. She's the only family he has. Please, help him with the money, Dad. Oh, don't give me that face. Fine, I will give him all the money and even more. Oh, thank you so much, Dad. But on one condition. I will do anything you ask, Dad. Just name it. You will continue your wedding plans with Henry. Dad? I am not done yet. You will go to apologize to Henry and his family for the shame, disgrace and embarrassment you caused them by calling off a wedding they had halfway prepared for. But dad, I don't love Henry. Then forget about what you asked. Dad, please, you can't have me marry someone I don't love. I don't love your mother when I married her. Marriage is not factored on love alone. When you have made up your mind, you know where to find me. <laughs> 